Hello, my wonderful people. You're welcome back to Boyos Network. Thank you guys for always stopping by. I do really appreciate you guys. When I know say this live, they talk say poor and katakata no the end. Say no only when man die, nine trouble the end. Since TB Joshua died for June, they have been consigned over the leadership of the church. Shortly after he died, there have been unconfirmed reports on the leadership tozo in the church over his successor. However, the church denied the report, say that they focused on giving TB Joshua a befitting barrier. After TB Joshua's barrier, the issue of succession was managed out of the public until last week when the court named Evelyn, widow of the late prophet, as a church trustee. But this did not go down well with some members who argued that the late founder expected the successor to be from among the pastors whom he anointed in the church. In a statement signed by one Adedeji Okoyemi, president of GCSM and secretary Mr. Brown Chimeze, a group under auspice of Global Congress of Synagogues Members, GCMS, the synagogues members call on the people all over the world to help in sustaining the church from ruins. According to the statement, the biggest task was to honor the last witch of Prophet T.B. Joshua and keep his flag flying. We are worried about the emergence of Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, the wife of the late founder who made the natural declaration of herself as the new leader of the church. She claimed a congregation of 2,000 church members appointed her. This is ridiculous. Where did the meeting hold? Was it through a yes vote? Was it through election? Was it through anointing by the 2,000 members? They asked. Where is the resolution of 2,000 members? Can 2,000 members pick a succession in the church with millions of people all over the world in five continents? And what is the constitution of the church? Was it followed? Pastor T.B. Joshua never ran the church on the basis of profit. Today, there is a design by the newly self-imposed leader, Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, to commercialize every activity. Mrs. Evelyn is not a pastor. She was never anointed by the pastor Joshua. She was not part of the founding members of the church. Under the aegis of synagogue's congregation made up of members from 188 countries, we shall continue to inform and educate the public, people all over the world on every development at synagogues until wisdom, the ways of God and common sense prevail.